On May 7th, Colonial Pipeline suffered a ransomware cyber attack that impacted its computerized equipment. This American oil pipeline system, which originates in Houston, Texas, carries gasoline and jet fuel mainly to the southeastern United States. Reported to be the largest cyber attack on an oil infrastructure target in the history of the United States, this incident even changed where some airlines flew to, adding stops between destinations in order to refuel. Let's take a look back at this incident and how it impacted some of the country's largest carriers. The Colonial Pipeline carries almost half of the gasoline, diesel and jet fuel for the East Coast through a 5,500-mile system from Texas to New Jersey. While this pipeline remained shut down to the malware cyber attack, fuel shortages across the East Coast began to take a toll on U.S. airline operations. The U.S. president declared a state of emergency two days after the start of the attack, with Georgia's governor doing the same the day after. The nearly week-long shutdown ended on May 12th, but had impact on certain airlines. The first carrier to have altered schedules was American Airlines. American announced on May 10th that it would be adding refueling stops to two of its long-haul routes out of Charlotte Douglas International Airport, or CLT, in North Carolina, currently the carrier's second-largest hub. Normally a non-stop service, flights to Honolulu, Hawaii stopped at Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, where fuel supply had not been disrupted. Landing in Dallas, passengers had to change flights and continue on one of the airline's Boeing 777-300s. A transatlantic flight from Charlotte to London Heathrow had to arrange for a stop in Boston for additional fuel. A spokesperson for the airline told Simple Flying that the flights were expected to return to their regular schedule by May 15th, sharing the following statement on May 11th. Currently, we're experiencing minimal operational impact to our overall flight schedule due to the fuel supply shortage on the East Coast, with two daily long-haul flights out of Charlotte CLT impacted as a result. We're closely monitoring the situation and working around the clock to ensure that we have an adequate supply of fuel across our network. Meanwhile, according to CNBC, a person familiar with the matter said that American had also considered trucking in fuel to airports affected by the shortage. The Colonial Pipeline cyber attack of May 2021 is just one example of how cybersecurity is important for the aviation industry. But every few months, airlines are victims of cyber attacks and data breaches that affect millions of customers. Minimize your chances of being hacked with NordPass, the sponsor of today's video. With so many aspects of life being moved online, it seems like everything needs a password now. Usually, it also requires upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and even a special character. Of course, it would be foolish to use the same password for everything, but it gets increasingly difficult to keep track of multiple passwords and logins. One solution is to use NordPass. With NordPass, you can generate secure and complex passwords and store them all securely in one place, accessible with a single master password. Available even offline for up to six devices, NordPass encrypts all of your Vault data locally so only you can see and manage your passwords completely off-limits to even NordPass employees. Get the best of both convenience and security with NordPass. Visit nordpass.com slash simpleflying or use coupon code SIMPLEFLYING to get 70% off NordPass with an additional month for free. Now back to the rest of the video. Looking at other carriers, Southwest Airlines used its fleet of 737s to fly additional fuel to airports to supplement the local supply with Nashville in particular being mentioned by the New York Times. Other than that, the all-Boeing budget airline said there were no interruptions to its operations. Meanwhile, United Airlines said it was flying extra fuel to Baltimore, Nashville, Savannah, Georgia, and Greenville Spartanburg International Airport in South Carolina. A spokesperson for Delta Airlines shared with the Point Sky that if the supply was turned back on by the weekend, as Colonial Pipeline had estimated, no mitigating measures would be necessary. The airline CEO Ed Bastian stated on television, this is the reason we carry extra supplies in the event of a short-term outage. Cyber attacks are becoming an increasingly common occurrence in the aviation sector. As we've mentioned earlier, every few months airlines are victims of cyber attacks and data breaches 
that affect millions of customers. On March 4th, air transport data giant CETA shared that on February 24th it was the victim of a cyber attack, leading to a data security incident involving certain passenger data stored on its Horizon Passenger Service System servers. The incident affected some of the world's largest airlines, including American, United, British Airways and Lufthansa. British Airways noted that its executive club members' names, membership numbers, and some of their preferences, such as seating, had been impacted. American Airlines said that its loyalty program's names, elite statuses, and membership numbers were impacted. Just a few months later, it was revealed that up to 4.5 million Air India passengers had their data compromised in a cyber attack. In this incident, 10 years' worth of sensitive information was stolen including names, birth dates, passport details, and even credit card numbers. Most recently, in late August, a cyber criminal gang held over 100 gigabytes of sensitive Bangkok Airways passenger information for ransom, including names, addresses, passports, and partial credit information. The airline has yet to disclose whether or not it ended up paying the ransom to recover the sensitive information. Have you ever been affected directly or indirectly by a cyber attack or data breach? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.